Hey hey, this is Jerry, and we are back with another episode featuring Jerry because Jerry is the ultimate edge lord of all the edge lords that ever existed. And we are back with another Chia Gun Let's Play, doing all these kind of fun things. <laughs> Let's see if I can get him to Gay Baby Jail. Going to Gay Baby Jail, Jerry. Are you there? Are you there? Maybe. I can't. I can't. I can't see. Oh, wait, there you are. Get get it. Get in there. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're right there. <laughs> Never mind. All right, let's see. We are back again in our lovely dark garden. We have removed any fancy skin lobbies at the moment, and the okay. Well, the clearly gay baby jail is out of commission in the Dreamcast Gardens. But in our previous episode, we have finished up our boy band, so they are now all prime and ready to go and looking rather lovely as well. Now I also have the anime face mod yet again because for some reason when you place them into a garden lobby skin. Um, the eyes wouldn't appear very well, so now now we can finally see them in their full anime glory, thanks to Crazy Mirror. So again, links in the description of all those lovely downloads. So yes, looking very adorable there. But um, our stars of the show for this episode are not the boy band anymore, no, we are moving on to far greater things in this garden. Because here, we have a few babies we made. So uh, we have, he's, the one is not our baby, like he is our baby, but he's not the one that we made last time. We have this one, which is our Chow destined for ultimate greatness, to be an all S Chow. And we also have another Chow, which was born through Jerry and Nebula, which is a slight shade darker. Which, you know what, oh, look, I don't mind keeping them. I, I mean, I've got heaps of swirly eyed Chow, but you know what, we'll, we'll do something with this Chow as well. Um, we also have we, have, we have a few other adult chow here that are babysitting the other baby chow, but of course most of them are asleep, so clearly they're not doing a very good job at their, uh, their task. I think this prism over here is also asleep. We also have this, we have this beautiful baby chow here that had a lovely face, a glorious face, and a little bit different from our previous episode because now we can finally see them. There is lovely eyes in full, oh you, what, you don't like, you don't like shadow, you don't like, you're not very edgy. Or maybe it's the fact that you're, you're hungry. People wonder about Chow saying, why are they struggling out of my arms? I've never abused them or anything. They actually tend to do that because they, they are hungry. They're hungry boys. You hungry boy? Yeah, you're a hungry boy. Here we go. Yeah, very hungry. So you don't want your Chow to get all hangry. You're just hungry and angry. And, oh yay! Now, you're, now that you're awake and you are no longer doing your babysitting duties, Praetor. Instead, you're going to go chase after your balls. Well, I'll let you do that. Um, but yes, in this episode, we are going to name a few of these lovely chow. Right after this RNG moment. Oh, you just got spared from the box. Well, that's really nice. Uh, Alright then, so I guess we might as well make a start on the naming, because these chow need names. Um, let's, let's go, let's start with the bright chow here. Let's start with this bright chow. Because there's a really interesting names that were suggested uh, for this chow. And this chow I shall dub thee. Well, firstly, we have to go through all this as well. Yes, it shall be not Smileb. <laughs> it's just one of the worst generated names ever. Um... Yes, we are naming it. We are naming it something. Now this particular name was suggested by someone who has a Japanese name which I can't pronounce, so unfortunately I can't read Japanese, but their second uh, part of their name had the word correct in it, so thank you correct. I am going to name this chow Colgate <laughs> because the fact that we are calling this chow, we're naming it after a brand of toothpaste Sounds so absurd that I just had to say yes to this. So much yes to calling a Colgate. I, I love I love silly names. I just I just love silly names for my Chow. So, you know that's just a thing I really like. Now our next Chow that we really 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 want to do. Where, where is? I'm wondering where the other Chow are. Oh, fun, funnily enough, no one has suggested a name. Well, no, not this one. This one. No one has suggested a name for this one. So, so this one is going to stay as this one until someone suggests a name for it. Unless we want to just keep it calling it this one and that'd be its canon name forever and ever and ever. I don't know, it's just a placeholder name, but <laughs> if you guys really want to call it this one. It's not a very interesting name though. 
Um, th this chair, however, which is not this one, um, no one suggested a name for this chair, though. No one has suggested a name, but I, I've, I kind of want to give this chair a name of its own. So I'm going to name the chair, just a little bit differently. Because we occasionally do things differently in this episode. Um, yes, thank you for rambling, fortune teller. We are not going to call it Chapon. Okay, so this chair was the child of Nebula and Jerry. So I just sort of thought up on the spot what sort of name I would give it. So I'm just going to call it... Neberi, which is the mix of between Nebula and Jerry. Neberi! And the fact that it sort of has a purple tone maybe thinks of berries and raspberries and stuff. So I guess that sort of fits. So yes, they are they are now being called Neberi. I'm thinking maybe make it to a hero chow because they'll be ironic. It'd be ironic to have a have this Neberi being a hero chow while Nebula and Jerry are dark chows. It's kinda of like the, the child that just sort of does everything opposite to what the parents become. Um, yeah, so now that we have our... It's nice to know uh, that the other Chow are awake. And maybe doing their slightly better babysitting du duties. Duties. Actually, no, not you. Blossom is still asleep. Um, do we have... I'm pretty sure we had another Chow in here. I'm pretty sure we did. Let's go to sleep. I'm looking for a certain edgy Chow. Oh, here we go. Now this chair here, I am not entirely sure what I'm going to do with, because if any of you can tell from the last episode, this chair already gave us a little bit of trouble, and it is born with angry eyes. And as we know, all know, uh, angry eye chow can become very edgy very quickly, not just dark chow, but especially if it's a neutral chow, so... I'm a little bit worried about making this chow into anything. I kind of want to keep it as is, but a lot of you just suggested names for it and kind of want me to keep it, so I might think about keeping it. On the other hand, this same chow, that is all D ranking, this chow here, I'm just going to circle while I randomly talk, this chow here um, is also available for download in at the Chow Live Chat Discord in the Transfer Center, so just letting you know about that. So unless we just all raise the same chow and then just see what, what interesting combinations everyone comes up with, we could do that, otherwise this chow is just doing its own thing. Um, yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a little bit afraid to raise it because it's going to kick my ass, it's going to kick everyone else's ass in terms of its edginess. It's just going to dis destroy everyone. And someone's singing. Or well, someone was singing. Maybe that was you, Blossom. Well, thank you, Blossom, for singing. We do appreciate that. I'm still waiting for you to wake up, too. Screw it. No, no, I don't, I don't pick you up. I want to pick you up. And yes, I know you're going to be super tired and everything, but I want to use you for things. Because we got to give you a name. And also, I want to check with the Chow Doctor what comment he has to say about the fact that we have a Chow with a bucket for a head. So, it's still a baby. Yes, I know that. Alright, maybe just we have to refresh it a bit. Refresh. It's a baby. Yes, I can tell. I can see that it is a baby. It is a baby. And I want it. You just mentioned something. Yes, it is a baby. <laughs> Stop making that observation. We are all aware that it is a baby. It is a beb. It's a bab. Now we need to give this chow a name. And yes, it does indeed have some name suggestions. So we are going to go with a very particular... Oh, Dingy. That's an interesting name. Semi-relevant uh, to the chow in question, but naming it ourselves. So this chow shall be named... Actually, you know what? I need to make it... This chow should be named Potluck. Now, Potluck was suggested by Vexatron Primal, so thank you very much for suggesting that. Because it is a bit of a potluck, the fact that we managed to get a chow with this um, hat, and now you're hungry. 
That is nice to know. See the doctor. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, it's still a baby. I can tell that. But can you say something about its hat? Because it's got a very nice hat. Can't, don't you tell? This beats very well. Yeah, but you can say other things too, you know, doctor. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Alright. How about now? <laughs> You're not going to say anything about it? Yeah, I know it's hungry. I know it's pissed off at me right now. <laughs> uh, he's not going to say anything else, is he? He's not going to say anything interesting. Hey, I know it's a baby. Oh, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's look at this later. Do it. We'll do it all this later. It's another Easter egg um, for this particular mod where the doctor gives you a bit extra information. Oh, now the other chair's awake, so that's nice to know. Alright, Potluck, you get some foods. You, you will allow you to do some fooding. Or maybe not. What are you doing? Oh, okay. You've um, gone for your balls as well. Alright, that's nice to know. <laughs> I thought you were hungry, but clearly you must have uh, like low attention span or something. And somebody's doing... Oh, it's one of our boy bands. I've got to split up the boy band arm. Um, throughout the garden so we can do a bit of planting of trees. Now, can I pick you up? Thank you. You want to join the party? There we go. Oh, really? That was it. That was very, very uh, brief. Anyway, what, what, are you, what are you two up to? I can just tell that both of you are going to be very dizzy by the end of this. The more, the more tripping you do, the dizzier you get. So let's, let's, let's take this to the, to the abyss. Well, it's not really an abyss over here, it's just a, just a solid wall that somehow transports you to the chow lobby. Alright, let's, let, let's, let's let them, let them do that. Ah, oh, those good old collision sections, eh? Yep, collision detection at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I still give you your name. Like, I'm thinking of maybe giving you a name. But I just know, I can just tell that this chow is going to be giving us a lot of trouble. Are we doing another RNG box time? Oh no, you want some food. You want food. Okay. Yeah, Blossom will be pretty ravenous. Hey, you know what? Playtime is over. Alright, I'll let you do your food there. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Now, now they're all nice and dizzy. Yes, but this particular chow is going to give us some trouble because we all know that they are very edgy. And yeah, I think you're also hungry. <laughs> I get the impression you're also hungry too. Alright then. Go and eat your foods. And by the way, I should probably show off a... Okay, everyone's hungry in this, in this garden, okay? But anyway. I actually want to show something off because I haven't actually shown this off yet. We have a brand new mod here called Chow Data. And if we go here, we can actually show you all what this Chow's data or their DNA even looks like. So all the hidden stuff as well as the visible stuff, which is really awesome. So we're looking at Prism at the moment, looking at its age. The time remaining is how long it's got left to live. And we've also got the different sliders all the way here for swim and fly, run and power. And magnitude, so obviously they're all the way maximized to their second evolution, which is magnitude. Uh, if we go to our next slide here, the visual stuff sort of tells you what uh, color it is, um, its eyes, mouth, emote ball, pretty much all the physical stuff. Um, next one over is our behavior. So this is sort of its bond with different characters, so obviously like Shadow and Sonic the most. 
Um, it is definitely a crybaby in the personality department as well as a bit naive and normal for whatever reason. And of course X, it's another extra thing here. So lots of energy, just these are just extra things. A lot of these um, are stuff from just, I don't know, what would you call them? Like hidden values of just Chow's behavior, what they, what they do. Energy means the Chow's more likely to run around and do all that stuff. There's hunger, so a little bit hungry, but not too much. Um, boredom is pretty low. Mating desire is about half, well, a third of the way through. And then there's health, so yeah, you don't even often see changes too much in the health there, in that department. And we go to behavior, to DNA, and DNA, this is obviously the part that's obviously going to be very useful, so DNA 1 and DNA 2, showing all the different alleles, what's hidden and what isn't. So I think DNA 1 is kind of like what's the visible stuff, I think. And yeah, so it's interesting to note that favorite fruit has a DNA as well as like an intelligence and shows all the rank rankings, um, texture, your tone, the shine and color. So yeah, that's just another little cool thing. I uh, just want to show you that in good detail. So yeah, that's uh, this would, would have come a lot handy if I, if I had it in the last episode and I was checking for all S chow or close to all S chow. So yeah. But alas, we have this one here, and I want to show off the Chow data from this one. So if we go into Chow data, of course, it's very young, so we've got plenty of time remaining. If we go into our visual, the color is 150, so we're obviously showing it's a color mix. If we go into behavior, um, again, not too much to show here at the moment. It's a bit of a crybaby as well, apparently. And DNA. Now the really cool thing here is not only is this child decent ranks with three A's and two S's in its visible DNA, but it also has luck and intelligence rank, which is super high. So 221 luck as well as 198 intelligence. I was not intending for this to happen, to have such good luck and intelligence rank, but that's just like the icing on the cake that this chow is going to be the ultimate racing chow. And karate chow if we want to do that too. But yeah, this 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 chow has got amazing rankings across the board, which I'm I'm so happy for. And it just makes me sad that the fact that this chow looks so sad. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, now we can finally get to see their luck and intelligence rankings through this mod, which is freaking awesome. And what are you plotting there? What what are you giggling to yourself for, Crater? You you're you're up you're up to something something, aren't you? Yeah, I don't trust that face. I really don't. Anyways, oh, now that you, now that we've got you here, and you still don't like me because I guess you're still hungry, but let's face it, this chow, or maybe this might be the chow that, that maybe I accidentally hit and that doesn't still like me, still doesn't like Shadow. Well, technically the Metal Sonic, but, you know, it wasn't Shadow, it was Metal Sonic, so don't, don't blame us. Don't, don't blame it on the edgy Shadow, the hedgehog, hedgehog guy. Anyway, someone did suggest a name for this chow, so, you know what, I'll, I'll give, I'll still give it, this chow a name. Not sure if I'll keep doing stuff in relation to its stats, but you know what, I'll, I'll let you guys let you guys uh, be the judge of that. So yes, we are giving this chow a lovely little name. And this name was a little bit interesting, I just sort of was like, you know what, it, it, it could work. It could work regardless of what type I uh, make this chow. So, this chow should be named... Phase. So of course if it gets really edgy, you know, we say it's it's not a phase, it's who, it's who they really are. And this one was suggested by Moxie Cloud, so thank you very much for suggesting that name. Yes, this chow is... I think this chow is going to be edgier than Jerry. I really think this, that's going to be the case. This chow's got trouble written all over its face. <laughs> Alright, eat your food. Eat your food. And... Playtime is over. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I think as for potluck, like, I think we're going to make them into a run type to make that nice running set from an A into an S. As for uh, is, oh, this, is this this one? No, that's not this one. Where is this one? I keep I keep miss, like forgetting which one's which. They look so similar. Are they, are they asleep or something? No, wait, you're here. You're right here. You've been here. You're hiding in plain sight. That's what you've been doing. This one, I'm thinking of making this one either a dark swim or a dark fly. 
one of the two. I kind of want to make it maybe a swim more so I can turn it into a, uh, so its rankings could be like sass, spelling out sass. Or if we make it into a run type, it, then it's, then it's, um, then it'll become an ass in terms of like its, uh, stats to spell that out. Um, but yeah, if we want to really make really silly things with that, then maybe that could be the case. Alright, we are back and we are going to giving a few swim animals to a child that has just fallen asleep. That is super nice. <laughs> uh, mainly just sort of wanted to get them to so actually start swimming, so it's okay. Let's, let's, sorry, they're not drowning all the time. So you know what, I think we might as well just raise some of these child stats up anyway, just so they're a little bit less of a problem. Yeah, dude, I really think I need to definitely get some more uh, tree seeds in this garden. Um, I will probably have to tend to that very shortly. But yeah, because we do have Crater with us, um, and they can do all the plantings, so it will be very nice. And, oh, we're nearly there. We, of course, with a D rank, we get nearly seven levels to get it to 100. Go. So now they can go swimming around as they please, and I should probably do the same for Colgate. As for Colgate's typing, I'm really leaning towards a hero run type because I feel like that would be very fitting for a toothpaste based chow, and you do not know. No. See, this chow is always trouble. <laughs> is this going to be a tradition that this chow is going to screw me over every time? Alright, I want to. I want to give you some swimmings. Oh, hang on. Now you're watching the news. Uh, we're expecting bad weather. Well, thank you for that. I don't even know if the bad weather really does anything here because I don't think I've enabled the weather mod on this. I probably should though. Probably should show that off. And I just realized you are not the other chow. Neberi, you just sort of appeared out of nowhere. I need to, well, I, I'm fine just, just, just raising your stats anyway. Oh, it's nearly there. Jeez. I must have got a few points short from enabling the swimming. There we go. So now you're all good. Now where's Colgate? Where's Colgate gone? It kind of just disappeared. Yeah, we need to we need to give you some swims. We've got to give you the swims there. Oh, I didn't want to give that to you. No. Ah. No. This is the problem having too many chair in one garden. One more and we should be good. Okay, so now we have a little bit less... Uh, that colour scheme is looking really nice actually on you. Maybe we should make you a dark type. Because it looks... you look pretty! Actually, it's, uh, actually bright chair look really pretty as dark types, actually. Hmm. You make me ponder things, Colgate. Anyways, um, oh yeah, you, you need a... I need to give you some stuff too, this one. And, wait a second, is that... Is that what I think it is? Is Potluck seriously walking around drunk? <laughs> oh, he's a drunk. You, you found wine stash of, uh, of alcohol, did you? That's not exactly a very good thing for you there, Potluck. Nice, you're already there. You're already at full maximum. Well, not really at full maximum, but you're already. See, look, only took four levels to reach 100, so it all makes a difference. It all makes a world of difference when having decent grades. Anyway, I think that'll be all the animals I'll give you in swim. And there's. Oh, yeah, there's also potluck I need to raise some stats on. I see you there trying to camouflage into the. The flowers there. Kind of thinking you 
is making pot life into a neutral type. Probably like a neutral run or something. And no, I'm not letting you do that. You're not taking not taking my stoof. Alright, one more for the books. There we go. Now all the remaining stuff will go to who do we give this to? Yeah, we'll give it to this one. You this one? Yes, you are. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to, I really think I need to find a way to better differentiate these two the two chow that look so similar to each other. And ah, oh, there we go. We, I knew it! You, I knew it, the fact that after you did a little bit of a fun times party you would go and cry in the corner somewhere. Of course! That would definitely be a thing that you would, you would do. Here we go, he's being a crybab. Ah, oh, good old prism being his crybaby self. There's too much fun happening in this, in this garden. Alright, now let's go in here. And you know what? Let's let's go to the black market. I mean, I could just generate a few seeds, but you know, we'll, we'll do with things the more legal way. The legal way of obtaining seeds. So uh, let's go here and go shopping. We're gonna go for a strong seed. So we'll take a tasty seed and just something a little bit different. I'm gonna grab a hero seed. So there's actually a reason behind this. I think I want to get one hero seed. Uh, was there anything else? Uh, I don't know if any other child like these particular seeds. Um, and growing another strong seed. Yeah, okay. That should be good. Now there is a reason why I've decided to go with a hero seed. I mean, it's very situational that you actually go out out of your way to use a hero or dark seed. Um, now let's make sure I find the right chow though. It's not you, the other chow. The other one that looks like this one but isn't this one. It is you. Yes, Neberi. Now, Neberi, I'm going to try something a bit interesting here. So, Neberi will be a hero chow, but I want them to be raised by dark um, characters. So, what I'm going to do is, is literally a razor alignment purely using hero fruits. And then we'll see how we go with that. And now we just need Crater to do some gardening for us. So, yes, we need you to do some gardening. I believe there is a tree seed spot here. Hopefully, I don't think it's changed too much in the Dreamcast, like Chow Gardens, that much. But you know, I, I'll have to check down down the track exactly where the tree seed locations are for, um, yeah, for the Dark Gardens and Hero Gardens, because I have no idea where, where they would be located. So let's enjoy a Chow working in their natural habitat. Of the uh, the tree cult, where they pray to the gods and uh, bestow them of gifts of um, non-existent water. Like I don't even know if you're watering that properly, but whatever. And then uh, do your ritual dance, and in doing so will uh, give the tree a massive growth spurt. So uh, there we go. You're all done with that. You wash your hands of that deed. And here we go. There's our hero tree. We're not done yet. We're not done. Oh, we've got a few other, a few other trees we like to plant. And there's a few glitches with these trees as well. I think you play a Sonic or Shadow, but I might show that off a bit later. So I think there's another. Yeah, there's a tree seed location roughly in the centre here, and they are walking away from it. Oh no! There they're good. I was right here. Okay, it's a bit further than I thought. Okay, maybe it has been moved. Seriously, I have so many hungry chow in this garden. Take it, Colgate. Yeah, this looks a little bit different placement because of the Dreamcast Gardens. Alright, let, let's see. Will the tree just like hit itself into the yet yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, the other one I believe is somewhere here, so let's do that. 
Oh, look, there's another party going on. But we have more tree business to do. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta plant the trees. We gotta save the trees. We gotta, we got tree business. Nebula. I mean, not nebula. I mean, crater. I would appreciate you to plant said tree. What happens if I just stand right on top of this? What's gonna happen? Am I gonna go shoot up towards the heavens? No, not really. Alright, we've got one more tree to plant. I should- I'm pretty sure there was one over here, but maybe, maybe not. And... I was trying to think where- because I always keep forgetting where the last- the lucky last tree seed location is. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, that works. Alright, you have done well, my tree disciple. We have uh, well vegetated this garden. And now, hopefully, we should never have a food shortage ever. Even with like three or four power types in this garden. Yeah, so we'll we'll be actually be raising the berry purely on uh, hero fruits to get that hero alignment. Let's see if it's all possible to um, to make a hero chow that way. Um, <laughs> there we go. So it's a little pool party, which is quite cute. But yeah, you can certainly tell what the reason why I get the I get the berry and this one uh, mixed up very easily because they they look very similar from afar. But luck, get to enjoy the pool parties. And um, Prism, you can just stay in the corner there. You don't need to be part of this party. You don't like parties. There we go. Let's 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 enjoy all these babies. And someone's singing, and that's that is that you again, Blossom? So you're singing right on the water's edge. Okay. I was thinking like Blossom could be one of those sirens that try and sing in the water to lure people to their death. Nah, no, I think Blossom's way too innocent for that. Blossom wouldn't kill anyone, they'll just she'll just probably hug them to death. Ah, uh, Blossom, uh, no, that's 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 for someone else. That is that's not for you. No. If you're hungry, you take these ones. You leave these fruits are for you. They got your name on it. These ones have a, someone else's name on it. Okay, so berry. Let's let's give you some extra hero fruits. Can't remember exactly how many you need to max out alignment, but I think it doesn't doesn't take that long. It, it, take, it takes to it gives you quite a bit of alignment there. Can't remember the exact number though. But um, alignment values go between from negative one for dark alignment to plus one, and I think this might give us like zero point one five or something, probably more than that, um, for through eating a whole hero fruit. But yeah, I think all either all these chow are silly big eaters, or it's just the fact that they're babies and they just love to eat more. I don't know actually. No, I think I, I think we've got a bunch of big eaters in this in this particular garden. So here's the thing, I have a lot of big eater chow. There we go. So we're looking a little bit more neutralized already. Hey prism. See you prism. Okay then. Now I want to go into the races here because now that we've finalized um, the boy band as well as Chuckle in terms of their stats, 
Unfortunately, I need to give Crater the um, those fancy uh, rabbits again. Um, but look, at least it wouldn't be quite uh, crowded at the moment. Well, it looks like there's some space here, but don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so I've got 23 chow in this file, so got maybe a few extra chow. I think maybe in the hero garden or probably in the, in the chow garden. But we are going to do some things with pitting a chow against each other. And I want to know which chow truly is the best across the boy band. And we're throwing in uh, Final and Nebula just for just for good measure. Just just for funsies because um, you know what we we, we can't, I can't get enough of Final. Final's great. And um, Nebula just hasn't had much chance to do anything in this playthrough, really. So now we all just get to see who is best, who is the best boy. And you also can tell who is the most intelligent of the bunch and who. Oh my god, they all get RNG'd. They all get RNG'd. <laughs> Except for Wine. Wine. Wine's pretty going pretty well, and so is Crater. You never know, Nebula might even come back in this. This might be Nebula's time to shine. But let, 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 let I really want to know who is best screaming boy. Is it would it be Hazard or would it be Final? You never know. Oh yeah, look, one isn't very good when it comes to running, but he outshines when it comes to the RNG and it, when it comes to. Uh, the intelligence. What is going back here? Where's Final? Final all the way at the back. Final, what are you doing? You're coming last! <laughs> Between Hazard and Final. Alright. <laughs> oh jeez, Crater's doing really well. Oh no, rip. Rip to final! Final has lost it! Oh no, wait, no, he's got, he got it. He, 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 got, he, he didn't get, he wasn't gonna get killed and sniped by the, the armor chow. Okay, wow, well, this is gonna be interesting, because the crater is really going a part of the pack here. But yeah, jeez. Oh, it's, it's literally between the two screaming boys at the back. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be super interesting. Even Chuckle's sort of catching up a bit there. The new and improved Chuckle, can Chuckle really uh, redeem themselves here? Alright. Yeah, I think the clear winner here is Krator. Kratos definitely is the best in the boy band. Um, who else? And next in line is oh, these two. These two, it's gonna get. Who gets it? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, RNG was definitely on the wine side <laughs> for this particular race. Oh, here we go. We've got Shaq. Oh, Shaq makes it out alive. So does Hazard. Chuckle last minute gets RNG'd, and uh. Final just dies. <laughs> Final's dead. No more goodness for Final. Uh, Final's glory days are over when it comes to racing now. Yeah, fi Final's not that good now when it comes to, um, like, yeah, <laughs> comparing himself to all the other Chow now that they're at level 99. He was good when he was the only Chow that was level 99, but now it's now that's all different. That's all changed. Times are changed. The times are a changing. However, I'm getting so we'll try one more time. It's slightly different. Okay, let, let's let's go full let's go full RNG <laughs> Onyx <laughs> Onyx race. Because um because wine would of course have a disadvantage for being a little bit slow, but he is the smart boy, so even Shaq's a little bit smart too, so Shaq is also the smart boy. 
And Chuckle as well. Chuckle is also smart. But all the others are, yeah. Oh my god, final no! <laughs> final no, you, you've died, you've choked. If you, I swear, if you get the box now, if you get the box, are you gonna get the box? No, okay, he survived. Okay, well, well, Crate has got set back a bit, as well as Nebula, so this might mix things up now. This is gonna be quite interesting. Interesting indeed. But that was, oh no, it, it's so bad when, when they choke at the very beginning. Hmm, can we get him to get some uh, good salad action here? Can we, can we see salad taking it out here? Oh, there goes the choke from Chuckle. Brilliant, beautiful stuff. We haven't got to see a, a nice um, choke from Wine, because normally Wine's the one that's tripping for days. So, uh, that's interesting. Oh no, is- oh, Crate- no, I think Crate is gonna make it. I think- oh, I think Nebula might not make it, though. No. Oh, no, Nebula made it too. It's, al it's always those things where... Oh, no, there's a, tri there's a trip from Wine, of course. There's... Yeah, we had to go with tradition. Wine is always the one that has to trip all the time. Oh, oh no, the double chokes! <laughs> the two just tripped themselves up. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Wine is doing me proud. Doing me so proud. Wait, who's in first... Oh, Hazard's in first place! Nice. And Nebula sort of dying there. Oh, here we go. Oh, like second place could be anyone's game, but Hazard though. I think Hazard's got this. Get the pits of hell. Oh, I got to the pits. Oh, and there's another choke. <laughs> another choke. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Shaq made it out alive from all that. Jeez. And Crater with the with the comeback as well. Oh, no, Nebula's gone. Yep. <laughs> that was that was pretty close actually. That was, that was pretty interesting. All right, well done. I think I think Crater overall was best boy. In fact, all oh, oh wow, that's like so Hazard did really well. Shaq did pretty well. Um, salad, sal like okay, Salad is clearly following the footsteps of Potato, going uh, full Potato. Um, but yeah, that was that was interesting. That was good. That was some good good quality race action there. Who else is hungry? Who's hungry? Who's ha who's hungry? Who who's hungry? Who's hungry? Oh, Jerry, what are you doing here? What's Jerry doing here of all things? Jerry, are you here to see your child? Because like, I swear to God, you were in like the dark garden not too long ago. What the hell's Jerry doing here? I mean, we have like so <laughs> all these extra charges on the move in all of a sudden. Oh God. Here's a child. This is what they have become. I oh, know you look sad for that. Who's the hungry chow? Is it you, potluck? I'll give you a nice glitchy fruit. Just hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'll, I'll, I'll get. I'll get you your nice glitchy fruits. Oh, Jerry's playing with their rattle. I don't think they're actually meant to show that off in any of the episodes, but yes, now they're, 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 they're secretly Jerry's a bit of a man child. Always likes to play with their baby toys. <laughs> yes, our boy band is now singing a nice song, and uh, Blossom has come to enjoy that. So. There we go. It's a shame though that Chow can only sing, like only one Chow can sing at a time. Like you can't really do it like a band where multiple Chow can sing together. Otherwise that would be interesting though. And seriously, there's always someone who's hungry. There are so many hungry Chow in this garden, it's ridiculous. Wait a second, are you crying? 
Oh, so this is like Nambari is another crybaby channel. Okay, so they're they're a bit they're another party pooper like Prism. Well, that's nice to know. That's a new fun fact for us. But of course, I'm going to give you some more hero fruits for the road uh, before we probably finish things up. So I'm just going to give some more of that nice stuff for you. So we'll have like another purple mix. Well, two we have two purple mix chow. One will be a hero, the other one will be a dark type, and uh, yeah, just to keep that variety going. But yeah, if we ever have a if anyone has a, has a name for uh, this one, which is that other chow in the distance there, I would uh, greatly appreciate any uh, suggestions. Otherwise, we're just going to keep calling it this one. <laughs> Oh, they're going to go the RNG box. All right, let's see. Let's we'll try your luck. Naberi, do you make it out alive? No, you do not. Unfortunately, you have just been RNG'd. Yeah, and just walk away like <laughs> you crawl away and not a care in the world. Okay, not like Crater who got like traumatized from that ordeal. Alright then, I think with all that and all these hungry chow everywhere, I'm gonna probably finish things up for right now. So, this has been Sapphire Chow. And we started off with Jerry, and now we're gonna end it off with Jerry, because somehow Jerry ended up in the, this garden here. So, we're gonna end off. Oh crap, did this just. No, I'm gonna. Okay, it's, it's lagging. Oh god, it's lagging. Don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> guys, Jerry, guys. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It, yeah, I think it just. Okay. Well, I think it just uh, crashed on me. Well, that's really nice to know. So I'm gonna blame Jerry for that as well as Faze. Um, it was all their plan this whole time. <laughs> Alright, I think now with that I'm going to have to rename all these chow and raise their stats up again. But luckily we didn't have to make too much change to them. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to finish it up right here. This has been Sapphire Chow and I am over and out. And screw you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs>